Hello, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be looking at last week's, last Thursday's question, as well as our brand new one. Now, last week uh, you had the same question for two days, but it built on it. Uh, on Tuesday you were asked to find a, an equation to talk about the sunflower in Giselle's garden. Uh, we know that it was 12 centimeters tall when it was first planted. Since then, it has grown approximately six tenths of a centimeter per day. So you were asked to write an equation expressing the sunflower's height, h, in terms of number of days since it was planted. In this, we were given two variables and two numbers, or two constants. Our constant is going to be 12, but our coefficient, the number that changes are depending on how our variable changes is 0.6. So then you were first asked to write an equation. On Thursday, you were asked to use that equation to find out how tall it was after four days and then after two weeks. Now I wrote it that way pur purposely because our equation is in days, but we need to remember that two weeks is equal to how many days? Correct. 14. Now, I know that we're all quarantined right now and we have no concept of time, no concept of weeks, but out there in the outside world, every day keeps coming and going, he comes coming and going, and that two weeks really is 14 days. Two weeks is not 65,000 years. So, using the equation, what we were given are h equals 0.6d plus 12. So, Four days, four times 0.6 plus 12 gives me 14.4 centimeters. And remember, two weeks is 14 days. So 14 times 0.6 plus 12 gives me 20.4 centimeters. So this is a linear graph. This is showing a linear growth. It's going to continue to go up and up and up, um, hopefully. But we're going to assume that it's getting the same amount of sun, the same amount of water, and that as it grows, it's going to keep growing. Like, you know, there's some days where it grows a lot, some days it grows a little, but we're looking for the average change. So as Giselle's uh, sunflower grows, it started out at 12 centimeters. So we know that at zero days, it was 12 centimeters. At day one, it was 12 centimeters plus an extra six tenth of a centimeter, so it'd be 12.6 centimeters. At day two, it would be 13.2 centimeters. At, so by day four, it's up to 14.4 centimeters. By day 14, it is 20.4 centimeters. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now on to what you have to do for today. So for this week, I'm pulling out some PSSA style questions, because even though we're not taking the PSSAs, we're not taking the keystones right now, it's good to be familiar with how these questions are worded, how they're asked, because you will see them at some point in the future. So for today's question, it says, the oil tank in my basement holds 2,450 2, gallons of fuel. The changes in the number of gallons of fuel in the tank over three days are listed here. Negative 12, or negative 1,208, positive 790, and negative 514 gallons. So looking just at this before I get on to the rest, I see that I'm starting with a tank that holds 2,450 gallons. Assuming that this is a full tank, in three days, it has gone down 1,208 gallons, up 790 gallons, and down 514 gallons. Now this can be, I filled it and then checked it three months later and it had gone down, checked it after they filled it up, and then checked it after a few more days and it's gone down again. So at the end of these three days, what is, how much fuel is left in the tank? So I look at what I'm given. I'm given, 
Let's see, I'm given that it holds 2,450. I'm given negative 1,208, positive 790, and negative 514. So I'm actually giving you four choices. For this question, one of these is the correct answer. It is either going to be 62 gallons, 728 gallons, 1,518 gallons, or 3,382 gallons. What I want you to do is give me the correct answer and how you found that correct answer. What steps did you take? So half credit for the correct answer. The other half is going to be for your explanation, telling me how you got your answer and why that is the correct one. Because if you got the incorrect answer, but you're able to explain to me what you did, that's partial credit right there. Finding the correct answer is important, yes. But more important than that to me is the steps that you took. Because if, if you say, I did this and this and this and this, but got an incorrect answer, I can say, okay, in step two, you, sh you added when you should have subtracted or you multiplied when you should have divided. Okay, so find the answer. Find how many gallons of fuel are left at the end of all three days. Good luck. And then on with our next video, we'll show you how to find the answer.